Hi, my name is Elizabeth Brown and I'm here today to teach you how to boil an egg. You probably already know, maybe you have some idea, there's probably more than one way, but I'm going to tell you the best way. So to start, you need your eggs, however many you want to boil. You need a big pot with a lid because you want the eggs to fit in the pot without overlapping and then enough water to cover those eggs by one inch. Then we take the pot, put the lid on, put the pot on the stove, set the stove on high, and bring the eggs to a boil. Now it'll probably take about five minutes. Keep the lid on. It's good if you have a glass lid so you can kind of check once the bubbles start coming up. Then you turn the heat off and then you set your timer for 12 minutes. And once that timer goes off, then your eggs are done. So they're actually cooking even when they're not boiling. So I already have them heated. I'm just going to let them go through the cooking process now. Now, one thing that happens when we boil eggs sometimes, if we don't boil a whole dozen, we might put them back in the carton. And then we think we know which ones we hard boiled because we put them on one side, but we get them mixed up. So if you get confused, one way to tell is to put the eggs well, put an egg on the table, but I have two different ones side by side. And the one that keeps spinning is the hard boiled egg. The one that doesn't, that's the uncooked one. You can't tell, really, unless you spin it, because you can't hear it shaking around. So always keep your eggs stored in the carton until you're ready to use them. You're supposed to store them point side down, it keeps them fresher. You're not supposed to wash them until you're ready to use them, because there's a protective coating on them. And keep them in the carton because there's probably odors in your refrigerator and eggs are very porous and they might absorb some of that odor. Also, I just want to emphasize, if you can, get free-range eggs because free-range eggs come from chickens that live on their natural diet. And to learn more about that, I really encourage you to read the October issue of Oxygen Magazine where you'll learn all about why it's so important to buy free-range eggs, all those extra nutrients that you get like choline that's essential for brain health and muscle contractions. So I encourage you to stay tuned. So our eggs are done. We're going to put them in an ice bath to cool them and then you can also run water. So I have a tub of ice and water and then I'm going to run water over the eggs to stop the cooking process. And once that's done, then we can safely peel them and hopefully have the perfect egg. So I usually like to crack my little and then roll them. And then the peeling. So if you've cooked your egg properly, then hopefully most of the shell will come off without taking off most of the white. And if you can, try to eat the yolks at least two a day if you can, because if you eat two yolks a day, you get lots of B12, lots of folate, a natural source of vitamin D, vitamin E, um, some of the different carotenoids like lutein and zeaxanthin that are essential for eye health, and you get some of those omega-3s. And you don't get any of that if you don't eat the yolk. Plus you get, with two egg yolks a day, you get more than 50% of your daily value for that choline that's so essential for your muscle contraction. Oh, that is the most beautiful egg I've ever made, I have to say. If you can see, it's perfect. So to learn more about eggs, how to cook the perfect egg, you can keep watching my video, or you can get the October issue of Oxygen Magazine. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Elizabeth Brown. I'll see you soon.